Hi everyone, welcome back to ShareSite channel. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can import your trading history using the file importer. It is important that you have imported all your historical trades so that your portfolio have accurate data on trading performance. Before we begin, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media at ShareSite so you won't miss out any announcements or updates. Now, let's get into it. Before importing historical trades, make sure the original broker file matches the ShareSite template. You can also choose your broker from ShareSite to import your historical trades. If you can't see the options to upload the file from the broker page, you can follow the step below to import your trades. To import your trading history using the file importer, you can click the arrow next to Add Holding on the Overview page, then click Import from a file. You can choose from individual trades or opening balances for each holding. For this example, I'll import individual trades. Keep in mind that ShareSite only keeps your buy and sell trades. If you have other types of trades such as dividend reinvestment plans or corporate actions, you can delete the trades from the file before importing the file. ShareSite automatically populates dividend trades. If you have dividend reinvestment, we have a video on how to handle DRPs. I'll put it on the right hand corner. We have also attached some templates from the right hand side. Make sure the file includes the trade date, the ticker code of your stock, the market code where your stock is traded, the type of trade which means buy or sell, the number of units in the trades, the price per share, the brokerage fee, and any other information such as the exchange rate that is associated with the trades, or the currency of the brokerage paid, and also the comments that you would like to add to the trade. Keep in mind that if you have US trades, you can simply use US as market code. If you are ready with your file, simply click upload the file and import the file you have done. You can add a name for your file source. The new page is opened and it shows all your fields in your CSV file. You can choose what your date format and the price format have used in the CSV file. Now, what you need to do is to make sure your field in your CSV matches the share site field. Make sure it matches the column on the right column. Click Finish and import all once you have checked everything. If you have any difficulties, there is a chat box on the right hand corner. Feel free to contact our customer service team if you need any help. And there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or ask us through our website. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!